Yo, here we go. It's Jared. I'm on chess.com. 10 minute game. No time to waste. Let's go. Okay. Same sort of systems. Bishop d6. Okay, this automatically looks wrong. It's blocking in his d-pawn. Ah, oh, that is a strange, strange move. Okay. Right. I could play d4. Takes, takes. Or just get some more pieces out. This bishop d6 does not look right. At all. It looks completely wrong. And I wonder if I can prove that it's wrong. d4. I think taking is almost forced. Otherwise, yeah, like f6. So I've got sort of like a Sicilian defense sort of position as white with the two knights on c3, d4. This a6 move kind of looks a bit like a knight off. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, I can pin that, that, that knight, pin that knight. He may have to waste time with his bishop to unpin, or he could play h6. h6, I just move back. Bit provocative, maybe? Is he going to play h6? He's already wasted time playing his bishop to d6. I think I'm going to provoke g5. He's, is he really going to play g5? Yeah, he is. So he takes, I'm going to take with the h-pawn. So I have fixed his problem of his bishop on d6. Um, but, what, but, but what I hope to have for, for compensation is play on the h-file. So castles is ruled out because of uh, this h-pawn will fall. And okay. He's preventing possibly things like e5, e5 pawn break. It's queen d2 for a second. Queen d2. In fact, I may have possibly ah uh huh. So now I have a threat of knight takes g5 because his pawn's pinned. So he's got some problems, it seems. Knight takes g5 is a threat. As this rook is unprotected. How does he meet this problem? He doesn't. So I've just won a pawn. In fact, I've won a whole rook. In fact, I've won his queen. I've won his queen here. This is game over. Yep. Good game. It was a very quick win. 13 move win. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh dear. Let's take a look at this. So already from move 3. Move 2. Uh, bishop d6. What a strange move. Uh, it, it's, it's an odd move because it blocks in his d-pawn. A much better move would be knight c6 or even d6 um, so a6 I guess prevents things like knight b5 to kick this bishop and also bishop b5 quite purposeful move a6 but it, his development is a bit strange and I'm provoking weaknesses here and so I with this move I fix his problem of his bishop on d6, which was blocking in his d-pawn, but I have, sure these pawns are doubled, but I have compensation in the semi-open h-file pressure, and so castling becomes a bit harder for him because he'll lose his h-pawn. Um, d6 is a good move to try and get some pieces developed. Um, queen d2, c5, and... 
I suppose the idea of c5 is to kick away my knight. Say if I go to b3, he can kick my knight. In fact, he can't kick my knight again. My bishop's on c4. But knight to f3 just has... just um, brings some problems. of knight takes g5 with his pin on the rook, which is unprotected, which was missed. And he's losing his queen by force here. Of course, if, his, if, if he moves his knight back, I take it. So he needs to move his king up, and then I take the queen. So that was an unfortunate loss for my opponent, but a good win for me, I suppose. Uh, thanks for checking out this game. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.